What is going on guys, Grave here. Today I'll talk about one of the biggest changes with update 33 and this will pretty much affect all of your builds in game and really affect all of the classes you have created. That is dynamic stat scaling. This is an ability increase based on your highest offensive stats. So it's gonna be like weapon plus stamina or spell plus magicka. Uh, we've seen a lot of this in game being added in over the last few years, you know, where something will be scaled off, uh, you know, spell and magic or weapon and stamina, that kind of thing. Um, and it seems to be now uh, Zoss has decided to pretty much make almost every single ability kind of scale like that. So everything's gonna be scaling off your highest offensive stat. And this will create, in a lot of people's minds, a lot of different ways to make even more in-depth hybrid builds than have been in the game in the past. Uh, in the past, you know, the game when it first came out was strictly kind of tied to you're a healer, you're a, a magic DPS, a stamina DPS, a tank. Now you can do a lot more, especially when it comes to the DPS side. When you have all of these different, uh, you know, abilities in game that scale you know, from, like I said, those certain things, weapons, damn, spell, and magic. So everything in game now that you see is going to be able to scale from that, even the morphs. Uh, like I said, pretty much almost everything. There's a few skills they still have not quite got to that point yet, or they may never. I mean, some of these skills I, I don't think necessarily have to be made to where they're all kind of this dynamic scaling system. But I, like I said, for the most part, everything in the game is getting changed over to the system with update 33. Um, it's going to work even like a, a four besides just for damage. You're even going to look at this for your healing builds because it's still going to scale, you know, for damage and healing. It will make more hybrid options. I think there's a lot of players out there that are excited about the hybrid uh, options we have. It's going to be a bit different than hybrid options we've seen in the past because hybrid options in the past were, you know, you kind of split your, your, your abilities. You had half mag, half stam and kind of split that. Now it's going to be more of a situation where you can run a, a several magic abilities and maybe a couple stamina or vice versa you're running several stamina abilities and a couple magic and those abilities are still going to do the same amount of damage as if you were running you know the class that it was made for now some people say that they're you know a lot of people in the community have been kind of discussing this saying you know whether they like it or not some people are saying they think that it makes the game fit more of a casual play style because now there's not certain abilities that are going to make certain classes better in end game that, you know anybody can go in end game now with just a hybrid build and just perform as well as someone that is you know not using technically a hybrid build even though kind of everything now is going to almost be a hybrid build if you want it to be uh a lot of people also in the community have been discussing will this really will this system really work without a large class and race kind of overhaul i'm not sure if either one of these are the case i'm not sure if it's really going to make the game feel more casual we'll kind of have to wait and see and when it comes to any kind of major damage changes that Zoss has ever made. They always kind of have to make the changes, then go back and look at some of the classes or races to see if they need to make some changes to those. Now, I know a lot of people feel like that's kind of backwards. They should make the class and race changes to begin with, then do the ability changes. But it seems to work, and it has worked in the past. Where they do some of these ability changes, and then they'll go back and kind of take a look at the classes and races as a whole to see what needs to be tweaked to fit that new kind of you know, damage or that kind of new dynamic, you know, play style that they've added in. Um, overall, I think it's going to be an interesting uh, update. I think update 33 is going to be kind of uh, kind of a unique one considering, you know, like I said, we're getting all this dynamic stat scaling. And I, I don't think a lot of us were surprised about this if you played the game, you know, for years now. Because like I said, we've been seeing these abilities added into the game slowly where they increase based on your highest offensive stats. So we've been seeing these added in. Um, and I, I kind of wondered in the past, I thought to myself, would this ever, you know, kind of be what the norm is going to be eventually, that all stats are going to kind of be this dynamic stat scaling. The only big issue I have with it, and I have seen people in the community mention this as well, is resource management issues. Uh, that is always the problem I've had. Anytime I've ever tried to make a hybrid build, even in the past, and even with this new system, it's going to be the same. You have so much uh, of one, you know, stat pool, whether it be stamina or magic. But you're using, you know, opposite abilities as well. So let's say, for example, you have a stam build, but you have several magic abilities tied in there. In the past, it was a little easier, I guess you'd say, to be able to kind of make that a hybrid. So you can put some things on where you get magic back, stamina back, you know, vice versa. But now, like I said, if you're running majority of, of stamina stats and a couple magic stats, your magic pool is going to be pretty small. But you're technically still running a hybrid type build. 
And I, I think your smallest resource pool is going to struggle with this new system unless they make some changes down the road. That's the only real issue that I have ever had with some of the hybrid builds in ESO. Like I said in the past, it was a bit easier to manage this stuff. I think with this new dynamic stat scaling system, it may be a bit harder to really understand, I guess, how resource management is going to work until, of course, I can experience here on console. I've been seeing players, you know, talking about it and using it on the PTS on um, PC. I've been watching some streams and some YouTube videos and things of that nature. But I have also been seeing, you know, kind of paying attention to what those numbers are and how they're affected by these different bills that are trying out. And it seems like everything that I've seen so far has, you know, one pool is going to be smaller than the other. And I think that could be one of the big problems going forward. A lot of people may feel like these are going to be more for casual players, but at the same time, I think it's going to struggle even for casual and players that are experienced to keep that resource management up. And that's going to be one problem. If people are hopping in, really enjoying the game, they're new, new to the game, they can figure out that they can use kind of any ability whatsoever, you know, however they want it uh, to kind of be set up. It's still going to be a struggle to keep this resource management up. So for newer players, it's going to be a real big struggle because we all know for us players that have played for a long time, it's still a struggle. When resource management's low in game, when they've tweaked things, changed things, we don't have a good, uh, as good of resource management as we had in the past. It causes problems, and I think that may be one of the biggest issues with this. That's why I think later on we're probably going to see some class and race changes, as long as they continue to add, you know, all this dynamic stat scaling throughout the game's life cycle going forward. And I think that's kind of what the norm is in ESO now. Most all abilities are going to have the, you know, be weight based off, you know, those certain stats, whether it be stamina or magic. So you can pretty much make your class be whatever you want it to be. So leave a comment with your thoughts. Do you think this is going to be something that's going to work for the future of ESO? Do you think resource management is going to be a problem? Do you think this is making the game more kind of tailored toward uh, casual players? Do you think it's going to give more hybrid options? I've seen some players think, so they think this is going to make the game have less options for builds now. I'm not quite sure what their uh, thoughts are on that or why they think that. But overall, in my opinion, I think you're going to have a lot more options for builds. I just think until the classes and races are updated, resource management may be an issue. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.